We are MindPoint Group, and this is Lockdown Enterprise. Lockdown Enterprise is a supported Ansible content feed that automates the security baselines on operating systems, applications, and infrastructure. It allows you to utilize existing automation tools within your organization to insert security compliance at any point in the life cycle of your infrastructure and platforms. Whether you are building container images, deploying virtual machines on demand, or entire infrastructure, as well as maintaining legacy systems, the adoption of Lockdown Enterprise roles within your automation strategy allows for security baselines and compliance to be enforced at every aspect of your fast-moving IT operations and development. The flexible nature of these Ansible roles also allow for you to apply individual categories of controls from baselines, exclude specific rules within those baselines, or have tailored logic for whatever the application that you are building requires. Ultimately, this gives you the ability to apply the same security baselines across many development projects, many infrastructures, and baseline images. This saves time by allowing your team to use the same tool set to both enforce and audit your security baselines. Today's example will be the RHEL 7 STIG baseline enforcement role. The first document that I've brought up for you is actually the defaults variables file from the RHEL 7 STIG role. As you can see, we've not only grouped entire categories of tasks together within one variable that you can toggle on or off, we've also set a variable for every specific control that exists within the RHEL 7 STIG baseline. This is a standard design function of what we do with Ansible lockdown roles. We allow for all of these variables when used together to be templated in such a way that you can tailor very specifically to your application and your use case, what you wanna get out of the security baseline role that you are enforcing. And as we look at the individual tasks within this role, for example, on the FixCat1 YAML, we can look at all the category one tasks that are either grouped together in blocks or singular tasks assigned to specific controls by that control's name and description. This allows anyone who wants to actually audit after the fact to track what has been done as you look at the output of this role's execution. And indeed, as I scroll through this command line output of a run from this role, you can see that throughout each of these different controls that are executing, we may be skipping based on uh, various ways that it might not apply or that has been turned off uh, in the variables file for specific types of tasks. We might be changing things that need to be or recognizing that no change needs to be made, resulting in an okay green. As we scroll to the bottom of this output, another function within the uh, rel 7 stake role becomes clear in such that it actually runs an open SCAP scan before and after the execution of the role to be able to gauge against the overall score how far we've come with our security baseline enforcement. The full report of both the pre and post run becomes a dictionary within the memory of the execution of this role. That can be exported to any source uh, for data analysis that you have on premises or in the cloud. While we currently utilize OpenSCAP to check both CIS and STIG baselines, we will be utilizing other test mechanisms to be able to test against those to see our progress, such as Nessus or even the tools directly from DISA. Lastly, to highlight the flexibility of execution, I've also brought up an Ansible Tower instance to show that you can pull this into your existing Ansible Tower, Rundeck, Jenkins, or other CI/CD solutions in order to be executed automatically both against existing infrastructure or during your image creation or container build. Regardless of how you execute your automation, whether it be within controlled CI-CD chains or from an operations uh, maintenance perspective, this product is unique in that 
it is both flexible enough and powerful enough to allow security baselines to be enforced, audited, and inserted into any aspect of your development, production, or release cycle. For more information, head to LockdownEnterprise.com and schedule your demo today.